Okay, so let's carry on. We're now on question three. Oh word, my word. It says, describe the process of natural selection. You must know this. Okay. Okay. It is N, B. Because they are going to ask you natural selection in some form or manner in any exam that you have. Okay, you can expect it in your, in your mid-year exams, you can expect it in your prelim exams, you can expect it in your final exams. It will take different forms, it's not going to be exactly like this one. I mean, they're not going to ask something that they've already asked now in, in last, last November. But they're going to ask it in some form or manner. Please just learn it. I mean, there are eight points, I think, or seven points. So, the process of natural selection is as follows. Number one, okay, and I'm numbering them so you can learn it, but you're not going to number it in a test or an exam when you write the answer. Organisms, and don't think of humans, think of animals and, 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 and organisms that are out there. So your organisms produce many offspring. Think of little bunny rabbits, okay? It's the nicest way to remember things. So, organisms produce many offspring, okay? And there is, I'm going to put bracket and, and there is variation, means differences, variation in the offspring. Okay. So there are differences. Number three, and this is point three that you will learn. Now, those variations in the offspring are some um, have favorable traits. Okay? I mean, if, if you look thinking of cows, some of them are going to produce lots of milk and others are going to produce less milk. You're going to find animals that have thicker fur so they can survive in, in, in the cold longer. Whatever the variation is, if you've got a whole bunch of kids or a whole bunch of offspring, I mustn't talk about humans, or let's say we have a whole bunch of little bunny rabbits, some of them are going to have favorable traits. Maybe they can smell better. Maybe they can run faster. Maybe their tails aren't as puffy and, 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 and uh, uh, predators can't see them. Whatever it is, some have favorable traits. Okay, that's the good thing. And some do not. Okay, that's, that's the, the circle of life. It's the story of life. Now, when there is a change... And this is what is important. Everything's fine until there is a change in the environment. Um, it, it could be something like competition. It could be competition. It could be the, the oh yeah, what am I put writing weather with an H here? Um, it could be the weather. Or the climate. Uh, oh, for heaven's sake! I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> multitask. Competition, the weather. It is the weather. Weather. It could be a drought. Whatever that change in the environment. Look, this I'm putting in here just to help you understand. Okay, but when there is a change in the environment, okay. Those individuals or organisms with, let me just get some space to write here, um, with favorable traits survive. Okay. And those with unfavorable, 
favorable traits die. Now, I mean, it stands to reason. If, if those with favorable traits survive, okay, then what's going to happen now? Five. The surviving um, organisms, you can say individual, it doesn't matter. The surviving organisms reproduce and pass the favorable allele. So that they favorable alleles, they go past those favorable favorable alleles to their offspring. Okay, and I've now got no space. So let's go all the way down, 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 down. Okay, so this is going to be point six. The next generation will have a higher percentage, or you can say proportion, higher proportion um, of individuals carrying the favorable trait. Okay, I mean, that really isn't difficult. And that favorable trait, um, helping them, or will help them, helping them to survive. And that is how we also end up with speciation. All right, so you've got this whole group of organisms, okay, they produce lots of offspring, that have variation, when, the, when, the, when uh, um, that variation results in some having favorable traits and others not having favorable traits. And it only really becomes important when there are environmental changes, whatever they are. And when those environmental changes take place, those with favorable traits survive. And if they survive, they can reproduce and pass those favorable trait alleles to the offspring. Those that don't have favorable traits die, and they can't reproduce if they did. So what happens? That next generation will have a higher proportion or percentage of individuals carrying that favorable trait, and they will pass it on to the next generation. And those with unfavorable tra uh, favorable traits die. So they don't reproduce. So the ones with the unfavorable that even carry that allele are going to become less and less and less and less until that trait disappears. All right, so it's not difficult. Those six points you are going to get for anything from a multi-choice question worth two marks to a six-mark question like this. So just learn it. I mean, it's really, it makes sense. It's not even difficult. The logic is there. 